Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us uh, uh, in this presentation. Uh, my name is Stefano Fabozzi, uh, and I work for uh, Coveme. We are a specialist in uh, polyester uh, coating uh, uh, with different application, and mainly we are into uh, the digital printing. Today we were we have ten minutes uh, talking about digital and uh, sustainable heat transfer um, for the next generation hybrid printing. Uh, we think it's very important uh, these days uh, uh, in this post-pandemic period to talk about the new uh, helping the customer in the transition uh, to the to the digital uh, um, applications, which uh, will be more and more important uh, in the future. So, uh, without further ado, let's start. So, um, well. We have, uh, as said, 25 years of experience with uh, digital print um, and transfer printing and heat transfer. Basically, we have uh, um, we started with uh, with the screen, which uh, 25 years ago was uh, was dominant. There were mainly no digital applications, and uh, we tried to to innovate. Um, Problem is that uh, uh, with any new uh, technology, it's not easy to understand uh, in which uh, uh, direction uh, uh, you have to uh, to invest the time and money uh, to give uh, more service to to your uh, customers. And then at the beginning was uh, was difficult. I was I was not in charge at that time. Uh, there were uh, my colleague doing a fantastic job before me. And uh, I would say that uh, I would say that uh, Coveme invested in uh, quality, uh, which is something that is very difficult to um, to explain uh, without uh, having a long history of uh, of supplying. Basically, uh, we uh, try to have a very reliable uh, production in terms of peel, in terms uh, of uh, of a silk effect, uh, which uh, uh, improved uh, year, year after year. So I would say that. Uh, uh, we now have uh, two different portfolios. One is a classic portfolio. The other one is the new technology portfolio we will uh, uh, talk in a while. And uh, uh, with the two portfolios, uh, our, all our attention is, uh, was to give, uh, <clears throat> it is to give service uh, to the customers through reliable products uh, and batch after batch with, uh, with, the, same, uh, with, the, with the same quality. After that, uh, we invested in uh, in Coveme. In general, we invested in uh, ISO uh, certifications and specifically for the uh, transfer printing a business. We invested with uh, Ocotex, which uh, we think it's uh, well, it's not mandatory, but is important uh, uh, to give uh, a better service uh, uh, to the customer 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 which at the end is ourselves because everybody has got in his uh, in his locker a t-shirt or a, a decorated uh, um, let's say textile so uh, this is uh, uh, important you understand uh, that for us uh, serving uh, um, businesses like fashion sports uh, merchandising uh, workwear um, interior design and, and and also printed electronics uh, we always try to be very um, reliable and uh, quality oriented. Um, we have uh, for the transfer printing, but in general in uh, in Coveme, I would say we have uh, uh, one main pillar, which is a green solution. For the KTR, we have uh, uh, we decided to have a very scalable uh, approach, which is uh, based in three steps. Uh, which can be combined, you know, like uh, like uh, a Lego brick. Um, the first one is green product. What does it mean, green product? Everybody is claiming to have green product, so we have to uh, deeply understand and expand on that. Um, as said, we have uh, before we have two portfolios. One is classic uh, material, which uh, are using actually uh, chromosterate. Uh, uh, some of them has got also formaldehyde and uh, phthalates. Uh, if uh, this this is the classic way uh, to have a release material for transfer printing or heat heat uh, printing, uh, depending on what kind of uh, of uh, nomenclature you would like to use, um, we decided to get rid uh, to these unnecessary chemicals. So we develop a new generation of films which are without uh, 
promissory without formal date and without the fatalities. So for us, this is the basic, uh, you know, uh, the foundation stone for uh, all the other um, materials that will be inside our portfolio. This is done basically to give uh, a better service to the customer, to do something for the environment, but, uh, and we try to, uh, let's say, verify that uh, through a, a third-part uh, lab, which uh, for us in, in the industry, one of one of the best certification, there are many good certification, but the one we, we have chosen is, uh, um, is the Ocotex. The second, uh, the second is the recycled product. So we said, well, what about uh, thinking about an end of life of the material, trying to give an added value to the customer? So, okay, we get, we already get rid of any unnecessary chemical, but can we do anything for the for the matrix? Uh, so at that time, that was an open question. Now the answer is yes, we can do something. Uh, so uh, we uh, are able now to produce all our portfolio of new generation films with uh, polyester uh, coming with uh, 70% over RPC. We don't have 100% so far. Uh, we have the ambition to reach that number very soon. Um, but there are some technical difficulties. Uh, specifically for this application, the shrinking is... Uh, um, is a very critical point uh, for the out of register and for the um, dimensional stability of uh, of the reels or uh, or the sheet if you're using uh, sheet feather lines. So uh, it's not easy. I mean, we can go 100%, but we are not able to maintain the same uh, uh, let's say result we have with the shrinking of the virgin polyester. So at the moment, we can guarantee the same level of the virgin with 70, and we are going. Uh, but you will uh, you will be updated soon on our website or directly with our Salesforce with uh, with the 100 percent. The la last but not least, uh, uh, we are following the circular economy project. This is something that it's difficult, very difficult. Uh, but we already uh, carried out all the tests, all the possible tests uh, for the monomer recycling, which is coming from uh, polymer, which is polyester and returning to the monomer. Then uh, putting this monomer inside uh, the, um, the, the circular economy and reusing that. It's important you understand this is not mechanical recycling, this is monomer recycling, which is totally different. Uh, and with this kind of uh, technology, you can achieve, uh, a, let's say, uh, um, a continuous uh, circular, circular uh, uh, um, loop uh, without losing any any let's say technical uh, uh, um, any any technical uh, let's say uh, uh, problem with uh, with your with your products so this is the first pillar that we we, we will follow us in all our products um, then uh, the digital digital transition for us is important so we try to have a solution for every kind of digital because everybody is now is talking about digital but Question is, what kind of digital are you using? So we have a laser dry toner. Uh, we have uh, basically two uh, different films, which is, are called DPL2, DPL3. One is hot pill, one is cold pill. Uh, I will not enter into many names now because I prefer you contact me directly uh, through a FESPA or through our, um, let's say, um, we will have a product demo online at 2.30, so you can, uh, uh, you can uh, have more information there and contact me after after a while. Uh, then, uh, returning to the digital, we have dry toner films uh, for the digital uh, hybrid prints. Then we have uh, uh, HP Indigo, which is uh, almost ready, uh, if you prefer to use uh, HP Indigo. And we have the new uh, film for the inkjet, uh, print. Uh, I would like to show you a sample here. I don't know if it's visible here, maybe. Yeah, there. Um, this is a digital direct film. Uh, it's something that is working very good. It's also warm pill. We are working to, for having a hot pill at the moment. It will be released very soon. We know that uh, DTF now is, uh, is on hype and we are happy to have uh, the possibility to serve you to serve a customer uh, at best with, with our uh, new technology and again remember you can have that um, with uh, um, without chromsterate without phthalate without uh, um, uh, 
sorry, formal date, sorry, I got confused. Uh, you can have it also with recycled polyester. So we think, uh, uh, sorry for the for speeding up my presentation, but I have 25 seconds, the clock is ticking, but uh, please contact us if you want to have more information uh, and going, at, going in the transition for the digital and sustainable uh, business for the digital transfer. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Hi, Stefano. Thank you for your thank you for that presentation. Um, we've got a question uh, for printing on polyester black T-shirts from Roy. Um, what kind yep. of transfer material do you recommend for this? Well, if you have a black, uh, then uh, uh, well, if you like digital, it's better to go for hybrid. Uh, then uh, use a dry toner, uh, uh, any dry toner, any any HP indigo is okay also. And uh, having the white, uh, very thick white uh, with uh, with screen. In that case, you can also avoid any kind of uh, migration. If you, if you have any uh, black, uh, maybe with uh, um, let's say uh, sublimation printing. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think Roy's problem there was a lot to do with. The the bleeding of the of the bleeding of the t-shirt color into, into the logo for yeah. example yeah yeah well. if you have I, I know. It, please go ahead carry on no, i was I, saying I, bleeding you're, with, you're, the, you're the expert <laughs> uh, um, with the hybrid uh, is interesting that you combine a digital print so four colors in digital and then you, you are you're able to have uh, two three uh, different screen uh, passages then uh, if you have any very uh, let's say delicate uh, uh, um, uh, substrate which is done with uh, sublimation then maybe you need uh, a layer for uh, for avoiding any bleeding in that case it's uh, you know easy busy it's not not a problem you apply just your uh, uh, your uh, uh, barrier uh, anti-migration uh, uh, in scream and that's it Brilliant, Stefano. Thank you very much. Um, if anyone has any other questions for for Kavomi, please do visit them in the product demo area. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ciao. Ciao.